Doesn't... It's definitely no Last Jedi juice. Hey, we're Skinner and Hop. We are. Mm. We are the craft beer dudes. Yep, and we're here with the uh, the Jedi Juice Nipper. Hop Nation. Yeah. Uh, Melbourne based. Uh, this particular beer was made for uh, an entry into Gabs. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know when or where uh, it's 2017. Um, okay. It looks like I'm reading that off this, but I'm checking to see if it's written on this. I just Googled it on my phone over there. About 90% sure it was 2017 Gabs. Uh, it was Big Brother to their other IPA, which I can't remember the name of right now. Uh, so Hop Nation specialized in small batch uh, brews, which is pretty wicked. It's a good way to go about it because there yeah. are so many brews out there with staple beers. Exactly. Um, there's, yeah, there's really... You either commit to that mm. or you make a good core range mm. or do a bit of both. Yeah. Which is no, they're kind all of Newstead's plan, I think. As far as, yeah, Newstead, uh, Black Hobs, Black Hobs Green Street. Beacon. Yeah. Pretty much a name of brewery. They're Bolter. doing a bit of both. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, and obviously, the Nipah is a highly well, regarded style. Yeah, it's we loved just, by a lot. Just talking about this, about how much people are loving Nipahs. Let's see if we love this beer. Well, I mean, you already kind of know. How drunk were you when you had it? I think this was like beer number two or three. Oh, okay, so you got it. So it was early enough yeah, on. you got a decent idea about it. I did read that it doesn't pour with much head. It comes down to how you pour it, I guess. Because you do that, and you get a lot of head. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's like not a necessary amount. And you don't get a lot. But yeah, yeah, just from pouring it, you can tell that it's hyper fruity. Yeah, got a nice, it's got a haze to it. That is something I read, that it's hazy. Uh, Which is a part of the... New England style, like, yeah, unfiltered. It's hazy and juicy. It's got a few different hops in there. They've got it written on here. The uh, Ru- Ruwaka, Nelson, Sorvin, Citra, and Mosaic. I only really know about. Well, actually, no, Ruwaka is the only one I don't know about. Uh, and Citra and Mosaic. I've heard of Nelson Sorvin. Yeah, but couldn't tell you what their flavor profiles are like. Nah. depending on we're when still they're learning. added to a brew. We're still learning all that. But, but anyway, let's give it a go. At seven point one percent. That's very dangerous. <laughs> oh, jeez. It yeah. goes down like a beer that is not very strong. Yep. Goes down very easily. Uh, good bitterness. Uh, especially from what you would gauge from a New England or a hazy beer. Um, the bitterness is there. It It's just kind of level. It really like is. Like, you don't see it, it doesn't punch up or, or wave or anything like it's that. It's very balanced. Just comes through, woo, <clears throat> there we go. Which, um, some, even Nipahs that I've enjoyed, they mm. can have this kind of dirty kind of, oh, jeez, yeah. this is a bit rough feel to it. Yep. It's very clean, very balanced. You got a big rise in bitterness. You get this mm. middle flavor of, you can just tell that there is a cocktail of hops trying to override each other. Yeah, there's a there's a good bit of um bit of fruit profile mm. in there. I couldn't tell you which fruits. Some of them they're in there. There's a few those fruits. Very stone are in there. fruity. Sure, I feel. There we go. Stone so fruit dry-ish. is what's in there. Name any stone fruit. That's it. Uh, the aftertaste. Right. Uh, we should also note this is a blind tasting. We haven't done a tasting notes on this beer, mainly because we had a bit of time apart. This guy was over in New Zealand. For very yeah. good reasons. Slamming craft beers. That was... But mainly... That, that wasn't the good reasons I was going for. But that was, <laughs> yeah, no, that was... Yeah. You were there, I was it? doing that. Yeah. Yeah, you were. But, nonetheless. Anyway, uh, the, yeah. yeah. We had time apart. We're behind in our videos. No blind... No uh, pre taste things right now. We're just kind of getting but into at, it. Yeah, but also at 7.1%. We don't yeah. necessarily want to have one of these and have another one. Would have been a great video. Uh, Tasting notes prior to this and then drinking it now. I don't know if it would have been. Oh, it would have been great for us. This really is. At least living it. Mm. Would have been terrible for you editing it and then even worse for us watching it. Not that That's I, really, I don't yeah, really I watch, don't watch you, you know. Yeah, you do a lot I when do. you edit it. Um, I edit it, but. You know what I watch? About the first 10 seconds, just that little bit at the beginning. Just the intro, like, what funny <laughs> thing? <laughs> oh, what did, we, what did we do? Ah, oh, look, that's cool. Didn't, didn't, I'm done. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I lived it. 
yeah, I live it and relive oh, yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I this is really it. just... Uh, it's not as crazy as I remember, but I've also mm. had some pretty crazy Nipahs. I had this really... Pretty, pretty crazy hazies? Pretty crazy hazies. Yep. Just stuff that looks like fruit juice. Mm. Crazier flavours popping through. But really, like this is... Just the quintessential New England IPA. Yeah, it's pretty it wicked. It offers you the bitterness. It's, it's, uh, it gives you the uh, big fruity flavor. It's yep. a little hazy. Not a lot. I mean, there's a, there's a bit of aroma to it, but nothing crazy. Yeah, look. Nothing. It's definitely no Last Jedi juice. Hmm? Hmm. Just, yeah. Yeah. Look, I, yeah, I... You made the joke prior to the show, and I understand why, and I was okay with it then. I'm still okay with it now. Um, it's just, I, it's a great pun in that it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It is an awful, yeah. awful joke. Yeah. But a good joke. That's that's how I'm feeling. I'm just sitting on the awful side. I'm appreciating it for where it is, but it's no laughing matter like that movie. Thank God this beer's a thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We can drink and forget about that movie. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Session of Ability. Uh, I'd give it a, a four, just based on the fact that yeah, uh, I wouldn't be sessioning this because I'd be munted. I'm going to give it a four. Like, it, it tastes very sessionable. You just wouldn't have a session on it. Because your session would be over far quicker than you wanted to be. I beg to differ. I'd happily knock back a four pack. No, I mean, I you, you, could gonna... you could definitely do <laughs> it. <laughs> on I'm the just... ability... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Take, don't rank it from a would I actively yeah, okay. right, do right. it? Yeah, okay, yeah. Then it's, like yeah. five out of five. Yeah, solid, you could yeah. easily throw back yeah. many of these. Should you? Mm. Like, that's another debate. It's up to you. Yeah, I don't know if we said, but it is 7.1%. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get an IBU. It's not overly no. bitter. Uh, despite bitter me saying seven, you going on to 60, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's, uh, as far as bitterness, I'd give it a solid 3.5. Which is not solid because it's yeah. not, it's a it's a fraction of a number. Just, but yeah, three. It's there. Really. It's there. You know it's bitter. You can taste the hops. Yeah, it's just not. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to coin this phrase: the cocktail of hops. Okay. Trying to fight. Yep. For which one you're tasting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm coining that definitely. phrase. Definitely. It's probably already it's on the coined internet now. somewhere. It's coined by Corey Crop. Um, no one else can use it. If you do, you owe us the Jurassic Park Islands. The ones that were filmed on, obviously, not the ones that don't exist. Yeah. I wish they did exist. <laughs> it's terrible. A lot of people died, man. <laughs> and yeah. I feel like we could have been some of them. Yep. Yep. Uh, Probably. Aftertaste. Uh, I'm trying to... Let me just... It's It has got an aftertaste. The aftertaste is just like a lingering bit It's of really not a over overly bitter no. finishing beer, which I think adds to its sessionability. Mm. But I found that to be a thing with your Nipahs. They don't linger as much as just a straight IPA. Yeah. Don't waste a drop. There's all that hazy goodness. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Yep. We've got further down the bottom. Gotten to the bottom of the keg. Uh, aftertaste. Yeah, three. Yeah, it's just kind of riding. Yeah. Like I said, it's pretty balanced. So. It's a, Yeah, it's a very balanced beer and I think that's why I can't really pinpoint where mm. it sits. Aside from sessionability, because it's just really easy to drink. Yeah. Um, yep. The, there's not a lot of business, but the flavor, the aftertaste is just... I think what I'm tasting is what they mean by resinous. It just oh. kind of... Is it? It feels like there's something that, still in that my that mouth. That entire just I was just staring into that beer. So I missed like, a lot of it. I came back at resin- um, resinous. Resinous. Yeah. Resonated in my mouth, and I mean, I'm still going to give it a three for after this. Overall? I'm going to give it a four. Ooh. Just because it seems to be a bit... This is where we disagree again. Bit fruity. Tension, bit. tension in this room. Fruity, but bitter. Yeah. Just, I like it. Let's Probably. finish, My let's finish it up. There. Yeah. Uh, overall, I'm going to give it a four because it's it's great. But yeah, I can't rank something four out of, unless yeah. I think it's absolutely absolutely perfect, which is it's pretty damn good. Yeah, it's really good. It mm. just... Uh, it definitely thing. isn't the five out of five yeah. beer that I think... Everything above it comes a lot closer to hitting. Yeah. And that's basically to sum up why it's above or below everything that is above it. Is it so it's, it's fifth on yours, it's sixth on mine. 
uh, the major discrepancy is it's above the Balter on your Balter Hazy on yours and below the Balter Hazy on mine. I just really enjoyed that Balter Hazy. It might just be because it was my first experience of a hazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of your first neepers. Yeah. You haven't had many. So it's got a special place in my heart. Great brewer as well. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. And you maybe if it wasn't for The Last Jedi, this would. I mean, solely for the fact that it's got like a Carrie Fisher likeness on there, I probably should love it. It's a good beer. Go ahead and drink yeah, it. Yeah, it really is a good beer, um, I'm sure. We're going to continue to drink it once the camera stops. Also, Yoda is on there. Third. Yoda tattoo. What? What do you mean, Yoda? Yoda. It's the background. Whoa. It's his head. It just blew my mind. Yeah, man. Yeah. I just thought it was just green because they do a lot of green stuff <laughs> on the back. But no, that's no, Yoda. Yeah, that's Yoda's head. And there's yeah. a little R2-D2 tattoo. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Above the hops, love heart. Yep. There you go. Uh, let us know if there are any other Easter eggs on this can that we may have missed. <laughs> can you sure follow the C-3PO? It. Or maybe there's hints at Star Wars Episode Nine because C three PO is made out of metal and they've tinned it. Ah, yeah, and he was silver in the prequels. Yes. Yeah. We've been schooner and hop. Yeah. Cheers. Anyway. Cheers to that. And cheers. Cheers to you. We gotta think it again. Yep. To our- think.